Hello and welcome back to week seven. I can't believe it's already week seven of my body positivity blog. It's so great that I've been doing this for the past seven weeks straight. I know I started off pretty apprehensive about whether or not this would work, about whether or not I could actually change my frame of mind. And then I definitely had a dip about halfway through, especially when I was redoing the psychological test to see if I had seen any improvements and I really hadn't. I was getting pretty down on myself for not having shown any improvements yet and I think I'm finally starting to really um, experience some improvements. I'm not really showing them because it's all psychological but I'm definitely feeling it. At the gym I've noticed that I do not compare myself to others as much. I find now that I am really trying to increase the intensity of my workouts, that I am so focused on my own self, my own body, and just trying to get through the workout, that I don't feel as though I'm comparing myself to others and looking at what others are doing because I'm focused on improving myself. I find that my first two days at the gym, Mondays and Tuesdays, I do a particularly long cardio workout, which can be quite mindless and mind-numbing doing it. My Monday workouts are one hour on the treadmill with a high incline walking in order to work out my calves, hamstrings, and glutes. And I used to get just super, super bored doing it. Even though I was watching TV or watching movies at the same time, my mind would wander and I would often look at what other people were doing and compare myself to others. And now I've started to increase the speed so that it's not just walking, it's now speed walking. And I even do um, small bursts of running. And that is so intense. And, or at least for my body. I find that I am only focusing on myself and the same thing for my 45 minutes of cycling. I do 45 minutes of hill sprints. I've been able to increase the gears on the stationary bike in order to simulate more intense hills and so I have been able to get up to gear 18 of 24 so I only have six more gears to go before I am at the hardest level on the stationary bike and I kind of want to make that a goal if I can. Um, I don't know if I'll be be able to achieve it by April 1st like because that's only what two three weeks away I think it would be really cool to get to the toughest gear on the stationary bike uh, my workouts on Wednesdays and Fridays are at home in my living room so I don't compare myself to anyone but myself and on Thursdays I do a free weights routine that my best friend Christine created for me and then I put in the cardio as I am a cardio fiend and I just love cardio and I feel as though my workout is more intense when I add in running. So because of these things, I am not paying as much attention to other people in the gym. I'm not comparing myself to others. And I'm also seeing more drastic improvements in my body transformation. My body shape is definitely slimming down. I'm not as wide as I used to be. I'm My stomach is getting flatter and I'm noticing more muscle mass. And I definitely noticed the difference in my actual strength on Wednesday when I was doing some yoga that I hadn't done in a while. And I was able to do some of the moves more fluently and and uh, more successfully because I had the strength in order to be able to do them properly for the first time. So that was very rewarding for me to be able to see how far I have come over the past seven weeks in really focusing on my workouts and focusing on making myself feel better and look better, at least for myself anyways. I've also noticed that because I am working out so much so hard. I don't feel as guilty about letting loose a little bit on the weekends, especially as school's winding down and the big projects that I was worried about doing are at least halfway done, if not completely done, and so I don't have as many large projects on my to-do list, so I do feel better about all that. So all in all, it's been a pretty successful couple of weeks, and I'm looking forward to what the next few weeks have in store. I will see you all next week.